just waiting for Facebook to catch up with YouTube because I'll be on them both at the same time. I'll be on very quickly and very shortly, but I'm just waiting for the Facebook. There it is. Good evening. I'm Dr. George Westlake, Jr. from Sheffield Family Life Center in Kansas City, Missouri. And I want to remind you that Living Answers for Today will be on both Facebook and YouTube from 7.30 to 9 o'clock tomorrow night, Central U.S. time. We'll be here answering questions about the Word of God and help with problems that you might be facing in the Christian life. And if you don't know Jesus Christ, I'll let you know that he himself is the answer to the complex problems you face today. Now, actually, last month I was preaching at a local church, and the peace accord between Israel and the United Arab Emirates had just taken place in five other Arab nations standing in line. And the very first thing I said to the congregation that Sunday was, watch out, the date setters will be at it again. People have always tried to set dates for the coming of the Lord. And tomorrow night, I'll tell you why every single one have not only always been wrong and always going to be wrong. I don't know when the rapture takes place, but if there's overwhelming opinion that he's coming on a certain day and people are starting to believe that, and that's being published as if gospel, that's the one day he won't come. And I'll be telling you about why tomorrow night. I remind you again, it's been my privilege to teach Revelation and Daniel and Bible colleges and seminaries all over the world. I've been pastoring for over 60 years, and I've also preached a lot of, a lot of prophecy seminars. I've read some, somewhere between 150 and 200 books in Bible prophecy. And this is the second book I've written on the book of Revelation, standing behind me, chapter 66. Now, the first book I wrote, I wrote many years ago for Global University. That was a college textbook, and I had to examine all the different opinions and all the different ideas about the book of Revelation. And the near method of teaching was to put Daniel first and then put the book of Revelation. It's actually been translated into over 40 languages used in over 80 countries of the world and colleges. But this book is the way I teach it. And I call it chapter 66 because there's 66 books in the Bible. Chapter 66 is the book that puts prophecy in order. Prophecy is like a skyrocket going boom, boom, boom. And the book of Revelation is written in the order of events that things that are actually going to happen at the end time to close this age and to start eternity. And I put Daniel where it fits into the story of Revelation. It follows the outline of Revelation. I put Daniel and the prophecies of Matthew and the Gospels and the prophecies of Thessalonians and all the prophets where they fit into the book of Revelation. And it's simply easy to understand. God didn't give us a book that's impossible to understand. For instance, called, the name of the book is the first sentence in the book, the Revelation of Jesus Christ. There's 26 different pictures of Jesus just in the book of Revelation. It's an unveiling of him and the activities connected with the end time and the things that are going to happen. As based on this study and what I've observed over the past number of years, I'll be 89 this next week, actually tomorrow. And this is what I've observed about date setters all down through the years. And I'll be talking about that tomorrow night also. Uh, the book is available on YouTube, Chapter 66, by Dr. George W. Westlake, W-E-S-T-L-A-K-E, -E, Jr., and it's available on eBay, and I'm probably going to have to reorder it because I'm getting pretty close to running out. But it's simply explained. We've had pastors in various parts of the country order them for Bible studies, and because it's simply to understand, and it does follow the outline of the book of Revelation, chapter by chapter. And I have a message in the book, and I remind people, this is on the outside on the back cover, that when I was pastoring, um, I'm no longer senior pastor, but I've been in the same church for 47 years. I was there 33 years as senior pastor, the past 14 as pastor emeritus. My son, George Russell the III, uh, uh, he's the pastor now. And I'm still staying fairly busy as Pastor Emeritus. I teach online. I'll be preaching at Sheffield Family Life Center in Kansas City this next Sunday. And I love preaching the Word of God. But things are happening. But I had a sign on my pulpit for years that said K-I-S-S. -S. And the guest speakers would say, what does that mean? It means keep it simple, stupid. That's for my benefit. And that's the way I've tried to write this book. I've tried to keep it in simple language. I do use Greek words, but I explain them. I taught New Testament Greek college level for 25 years. And I do use Greek words, but I explain them so you can understand what's going on. Again, chapter 66 by George Westlake.
Now, again, for questions tomorrow night, you can send them in ahead of time. And the email address is drgwwjr, drgwwjr at gmail.com. Or else you can put them in the comment section while we're live on the air because we're on both, we're on both YouTube and Facebook at the same time. And I'm not looking at the screen, but they'll be copied down and handed to me, and we'll put the live questions in as they come in. And it's never dumb to ask questions. That's how we find out. So I hope you'll tune in tomorrow night. And I'm going to be talking about the date setters because, again, I did say they would be coming along, and people are going to sure they have dates and, and all kinds of things. And we'll be talking about that tomorrow night, why everyone has always been wrong and why they're continually going to be wrong or to live as men and, men and women expecting our Lord at any time. God bless you. Have a great week in Jesus Christ. Be sure to tune in tomorrow night.